One of our very interesting projects is called ad click prediction. This problem is very close to my heart because I've worked on uh, internet advertising problems at Yahoo Labs and Amazon for a very, very long time. This, this is my area of specific domain expertise that I've built a lot of machine learning and AI systems in. So let me give you an example of what it is and why it is important. So let's assume I go to Google and I type by television. Of course, there are a bunch of, uh, video, a bunch of images here. But if you notice here, there are these two pages and it says that there's two, uh, there are two search results here where it says ad, right? So at the top, so this is, this is, uh, these ads are, these ads are above, these ads are, so if you notice, these ads are above the organic search results. So these are called sponsored search ads, right? These are called sponsored search ads and these are called organic search results, right? Organic search results, right? So each of these companies, in this case, Flipkart here and Amazon here, pays Google whenever a, a cust, uh, whenever somebody who searches on Google goes and clicks on this. If I click on this and go to Flipkart, uh, Flipkart would pay some small amount to Google. And by the way, this contributes to a largest amount of revenue that Google makes. Google is a multi-billion dollar business today because of search ads like this. This is their cash cow. This is how they make billions of dollars of money every year. While it looks too simple, it's actually very, very important part of it. A lot of what Google provides you for free is free because Google can end cash or Google can make money using search ads like this, right? So I was, uh, from a, on a personal note, I used to work on a similar problem for Yahoo Search in Southeast Asia as one of my first jobs straight out of college. And then I worked for similar problems for Amazon.com for, for a few years. And uh, in this problem, the interesting thing is you're given what you have to do is you're given a user, right? You're given information about a user. You're given information about the search query. In our case, the search query was by television, right? We also have multiple other points of information like uh, what is the ad? Who is the advertiser? In the previous case, we saw Amazon and Flipkart to be advertisers, right? Given all this information, we have to predict what is the probability of click? Because how, do, how does Google make more money? Google should place the ad which has the highest chance of being clicked at the top, right? Because that's where users will click more and more, right? So Google will try to predict what is the probability of this ad click given, given all the information about the user, advertiser, this search query, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? So uh, you can think of it as whether predicting whether a user will click on an ad or not and what is the chance that he will click on it. This is the bread and butter of internet. This is how your Facebook, Google, and lots of major internet companies make billions of dollars of revenue. This is why your Facebook is free, your Google is free. This is the, this is the business model of some of the most important companies on the internet like Google and Facebook today. And th this problem is super important. Unfortunately, we don't have data from Google. Unfortunately, Google doesn't give us data. There is a Chinese search engine called Soso.com, which gave us some very interesting data uh, from, from their search ads business, where they've given us 2 GB of compressed data and 10 GB of uncompressed data, where we have 5 million ads, 5 million ad impressions. So an ad being shown once like this for a user is called an ad impression. Right? So because you're being impressed an ad, right? So we have data for 5 million ads using which we have to build a machine learning system on predicting which ad to show to which user because which ad to show to which user depends on this probability of click. And a lot of ads that, that you do not even realize are there on the internet are actually the cash curve of the internet for a lot of major companies. And it, it, was, it was fun building some of the actual system that some of the largest internet companies today use. And I'm very glad that I was part of some of these very interesting endeavors at, at phenomenal companies like Yahoo Labs and Amazon. And this, this is very close to my heart because I've solved similar problems in the actual industrial settings. And it's, again, fun to solve it again with all of you. And uh, this problem, again, you might say, why is ad click prediction so important, right? Of course, here the challenges are there is a large amount of data right and there, there's a lot of interesting signal and this is how internet is free this is the reason why your google search uh, and your facebook is free right and these are these are very a small one percent improvement in these algorithms could mean billions of dollars of revenue for companies like google and facebook and it's a very very interesting uh, interesting problem to solve using ai and machine learning and data science and 
hope to see you solving this problem along with me. It's always fun to solve a problem that you already have solved once because it's easy. But that doesn't mean that we'll not solve other problems. Other problems are equally exciting for me because I've never solved them. It's new to me.